Cabin the X. Hi everyone, welcome back to another console tutorial with Cabin the X. This tutorial is an extension of the heatsink model by taking surface to surface radiation into account. In the second part, we we'll modify and solve the model to study the effects of the surface to surface radiation and that would be done between the heat sink and the channel walls. Let's begin by clicking on this folder icon. Let's open our file. So let's navigate to our home toolbar. Let's open the physics window by clicking on add physics. Let's navigate down to heat transfer expand radiation and let's select surface to surface radiation actually okay and add the components so click add physics and that will close the window for the surface to surface radiation, let's choose exterior walls. Let's click on diffuse surface one. Let's scroll down to ambient and let's change it from user defined to ambient temperature. Let's scroll down to surface emissivity and let's change it from from material to user defined scroll down a little bit and let's key in 0 0.85 now let's go to the physics toolbar and let's expand domains and let's click on opacity and for the domain selection in our opacity settings let's select all points We'll stay within the physics toolbar and let's add uh, multi physics. So click on that to open the multi physics window. With this selected, let's uncheck laminar flow. So for the couples, make sure you uncheck laminar flow and so where we have heat transfer, radiation, heat transfer with surface to surface radiation, let's select that and add two components. Now with that added, let's click on add model physics to close the window. In order for us to keep the previous solution, and to be able to compare it with this version of the model we will need to create a new stationary study so we need to edit the first study to exclude surface to surface radiation and make sure the same solution will be computed in case it is solved again so let's go to our home toolbar and let's navigate over to right here art study let's click on that and let's expand general studies if it's not expanded click on stationary and then you click on art study then you can click on add study here to close the window so where we have study one click on that and for the label key in study one dash without radiation okay so that will be the name for that one now let's expand study one let's click on step one stationary 
let's make this a little bit wider so where we have physics and variable selection physics interface let's play surface to surface radiation so solve for let's play a checkbox right there and also let's clear this one so if i expand this let's just make this a bit wider so you can see clearly so we need to play surface to surface radiation and heat transfer with surface to surface radiation now let's navigate to study 2 so click on that and let's give it this name study 2 with radiation and following that let's compute so we can compute from here or we can compute from here the computation will take a little while so you can take a little break and when it's finished we'll continue now that our computation is completed, take note that some of the plot groups of the new study will have similar names to the ones that already exist. To avoid confusion, let's organize plot groups into two groups. Let's close this a little bit. So in our model builder, let's scroll down, let's minimize these there. And let's focus on our results. So let's add temperature to temperature and fluid flow to so use shift select those four one two three four and use control and select energy balance as well and you can simply use control plus g on your keyboard and then you call that without radiation and then you can simply close those and for temperature one all the way to temperature and fluid flow one we shift and repeat the process control g and we'll call that without radi with radiation sorry so that will be with radiation so we have without radiation and we have with radiation What you can do, you can simply hold down your left mouse button and you can jog and drop with radiation just below without radiation. Okay, so this will keep everything neat. Now let's expand with radiation and let's select temperature one and let's expand that so let's right click on volume one and let's select transparency Note that the same default path for temperature and fluid flow as before is generated automatically Let's modify this to compare both pieces with and without radiation. So in our model builder, let's expand temperature and flow with flow one. Before we go any further, so click temperature and flow with flow one and let's call it temperature and fluid flow with radiation and let's click on fluid flow 
let's make this a tad wider let's navigate down to our positioning for the x grid points number of points let's see it's 40 for the y let's use 20 and for the z let's change from number of points to coordinates and let's enter five millimeters let's now navigate down to filter so let's find fluid flow select filter and let's key in this equation for the logical expression for inclusion and following that let's hit plot now let's make this a little bit smaller let's zoom to extends let's turn off our grid save your file let's minimize this and that let's expand with old radiation let's minimize all these and for temperature let's minimize that so with radiation for a temperature temperature volume you can see that the maximum temperature reach at the heat sink base is 350 kelvins and that's with radiation and without radiation as mentioned in the previous video the maximum temperature reach at the heat sink base is about 380 kelvins and you can compare the temperature and fluid flow without radiation and also you can do that for the same with radiation this concludes this heat sink tutorial with comes from multiphysics I hope you enjoy. Thank you and bye for now.